All right, so uh, you're gonna work on this for a homework problem, but what I wanted to do before you did that, just to kind of help you out, was walk through insertion sort and how it works, and also some of the, the rules for insertion sort that are gonna allow you to, to solve today's uh, homework. Um, all right, so insertion sort, you know, here's the basic idea. We start with an unsorted array of values, and in each step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one uh, item from the unsorted part, and in this example, we'll work from the, the left. So at this point, the entire array is red. That means it's unsorted. And each step, we'll take uh, a value from the unsorted part and we'll move it into the sorted part. Um, and so the sorted part starts at the left and is gonna go to the right. The unsorted part starts uh, full and is gonna shrink to the right. Um, so let's walk through how this works. Okay, so here's our array um, containing unsorted values. Um, in the first step, I've taken eight and I've moved it into the sorted part of the array and I didn't really have to do anything here um, because it was the first value. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take five and I wanna move five into the sorted part. And so I need to find the right spot to insert it. This is why this is called insertion sort. Usually the way this is implemented is I actually move it to the left until I find the right spot. So I kind of swap it uh, you know, repeatedly into the sorted part of the array until it's in the right location. Um, so in this case, what I did is I said, okay, I took five, I, I examined it, I, I compared it with eight, it was less than eight, and so I swapped the two, and now it's in the right spot. Um, okay, so now let's take seven, right? So now I'm moving seven into the, from the unsorted part into the sorted part. So in this case, I compare seven with eight, those two are out of order, so I swap them, uh, then I compare seven with five, those two are in the right order, and so I leave it, and now seven is in the right spot. And I continue this process, moving items from the unsorted part into the sorted part um, until I'm done. And at which point the sorted part, which started empty, has now been filled with all the items from the unsorted part. The unsorted portion, which started full, is now empty, and so the entire array has been sorted. Okay, so let's look at a single step, a single insertion. And so in every step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first item from the unsorted part and we're gonna insert it into the right place in the sorted region. Uh, and so let me, let me take one that's a little bit, you know, uh, and this, this is just sort of highlighting where these end up, right? So now I'm taking, uh, and you can see sort of eight starts off in the, right sp in the right spot, at least initially. Five, I need to swap so that it's the left of eight. Seven, I'm gonna put to the left of eight. Uh, but to the right of five. Three, so let's think about what happens in a single step here. So I would compare three and eight. Three is less than eight, these are out of order, and so I swap them. Then I would compare three and seven. Three is less than seven, so these are out of order, so I'd swap them again. Then I would compare three and five. Three is less than five, swap them again. And now I've reached the front of the sorted part, and three has to be in the right spot at that point because there's nowhere left to put it. Right, and so three moves all the way over. Now again, let's go through another step with four. So I compare four and eight, four is less than eight, swap them. Compare eight and seven, sorry, four and seven, four is less than seven, swap them. Compare four and five, four is less than five, swap them. Compare four and three, four is greater than three. And I also stop if I find an equal value. So when I get to the point where the two values I'm comparing are equal, or the value that I'm inserting is greater, I stop because that's the point at which it's reached the right spot of, of the array. Um, and so, okay, so now uh, let's look at a single step in, in, in a great deal of detail. And hopefully this will kind of help you as you design your algorithm for today's homework. Um, so I take six. Okay, so at this point, I'm, I've worked my way most of the way through the array. I'm just working on the last couple of values. So I have a sorted portion of the array and I have an unsorted portion. So I take six and I start swapping it. And as I swap it, I'm moving it to the left, right? So there's an outer loop in this step that moves to the right, but the inner loop takes values and moves them to the left. Um, so it's like my outer loop is grabbing items moving to the right, and then the inner loop is moving that item into the sorted part of the array, so swapping it to the left. Um, so I compare with 11, six is less than 11, so I keep going. I compare with eight, six is less than eight, so I keep going. I compare with seven, six is less than seven, I keep going. I compare with five, six is greater than five, and so now I found the right spot and I drop it in. Uh, okay, so let's watch that one more time. Um, I'm, I'm 
you know, at this point, I've got eight values total in my array. I'm working on uh, inserting the last two. One of the reasons why this is called insertion sort um, is that this is uh, an another metaphor to think about this. This may or may not help you with your implementation. Is it's sort of like when you have uh, your, how, it, it's modeled after how people sort cards. So if you have a, a hand of deck of, or, or a, a hand, I guess they call it, of cards, and you're sorting them, you, you know, you take one, you know, from the right side and you kind of insert it into the, into the right spot, or you might start from the left, you know, take a card, kind of swap it and keep inserting it into the right spot. And as you're doing that, what you're really doing is you're taking the card, you're, you're kind of scanning left until you find the, the place where that value goes and then you're sticking it and you're inserting it. And if you do that repeatedly, you'll end up with the sorted hand of cards. So one more time through with, with this particular example, I've got the value six. Keep in mind, one of the reasons that this works is because the left part of the array is sorted. So as soon as I find the spot in there where six is greater than or um, greater than or equal to that value, the I know that all the values to the left of it are less than it and all the values to the right are greater. And so that is the right spot for the value. Okay, one more time with six, oh, sorry. So I grab six, I compare six with 11, six is less than 11, so I keep going. I compare six with eight, six is less than eight, so I keep going. I compare six with seven, six is less than seven, I keep going. I compare six with five, six is greater than or equal to five, and so now I stop. And by swapping this to the left, I have located the right spot for value six. So um, this is, you know, the algorithm we expect you to implement on, on today's homework um, and uh, best of luck with that.